To use this feature, you will need the following prerequisites. An ESP32-S2 or an ESP32-S3 chip. You might need to do some electrical connection work if your board doesn't have a USB port. You will find a link in the description of how to do it. The chip needs to be in bootloader mode for the detection as a DFU device. This can be achieved by pressing the reset button by holding the boot button pressed on your chip. For Windows users, you have to register on Windows the device with the WinUSB driver. You can find more details in the DFU documentation. We will be using the ESP-IDF Blink example. Select the port of your device by clicking its icon in the status bar. Then select an expressive target. We will use the ESP32-S2. Change the flashing method to DFU from its icon in the status bar. Build a project. During this process, the DFU bin file will be created. After building is complete, just flash it. If you want to monitor your device, remember to change the USB port before. Congrats! If you want to have a look over the expressive DFU API guide, check the link in the description of this video.